What has been the impact of um, coronavirus on business analyst opportunities? A lot of organizations um, really had to focus on getting everyone set up to work from home. So what that meant in terms of BA opportunities, immediately a, a big pause on recruitment across the board. So on, on every role basically, but um, definitely also BA opportunities, getting first every every uh, bit of stuff set up to work from home. And of course, making sure that all the servers could deal with um, large volumes of people logging on remotely, which a lot of, especially the larger enterprise type organizations were not um, set up for it turned out. So right. it's, this um, some massive impact in productivity um, where staff could not log on to systems, uh, only had access to mail via their phone for I think three or four weeks time sometimes, uh, which, which caused a massive delay and um, a, big, a big freeze in, um, in recruitment, especially in the beginning time of COVID. Um, have there been any trends for certain industries um, and their uh, business analyst posting? The industries that I cover myself are banking and financial services. Um, so I'll focus on, on those industries for now. Um, definitely what we have seen is, well, if you, if you can imagine, a lot of people are now struggling paying back their, their loans and mortgages. So that has um, had a massive effect on insurance companies, on the, on the banks. So um, that, of course, resulted in a decrease in, in, in hiring and, and spending. Yeah. So um, on, on job postings, um, there was, especially the beginning of COVID, hardly anything. Now we see slowly it's picking up again. And in terms of the type of roles, what we see is less uh, opportunities for contracting roles and right. a bigger focus for companies on hiring fixed term um, fixed term staff to yeah. cut on their costs. My area is uh, everything but financial services. So what I've seen is that um, there's quite a lot of um, roles still going in the essential services space. So like in utilities, um, government, they still have quite a bit of hiring going, but not to the extent um, compared to what it would be like this time last year. Um, I know that um, the likes of yeah some retailers, they're doing quite well. Um, so yeah, there's still quite a lot of movements, um, and especially in um, government funded companies as well. Um, other areas like some of the education space, they've been hit quite hard because there's no more international students anymore um, making up for their revenue. So that's a, um, that's a trend that I'm seeing that's decreasing in that area. Have certain states been uh, affected more than others? They notice in their Sydney market it had been very quiet in April, May months, so definitely a, a, a big drop compared to last year. However, um, since COVID cases have decreased uh, and still are decreasing um, in New South Wales has resulted in people going back to the offices, right. which of course had made it practically much easier to hire, but also the general sense of we're moving forward, going back to the office, things are improving, has, has ensured that there's a, um, much more hiring going on. Yeah, um, so over the past month um, or so, I've noticed that um, companies are being quite specific in terms of what they're looking for. So they're looking right. for industry experience, um, they have to have past experience in um, you know, certain transformation project, um, certain technical skill sets that they're looking for. Um, Pre-COVID, they are more lenient. If you don't have that kind of skill set, they will, um, yeah, more likely to entertain um, or interview right. you. But now, um, what I find is that, yeah, clients are being quite specific in terms of what they want. Uh, what area skill set have been in demand and uh, do you foresee this continuing post-pandemic? Specifically <laughs> relating to uh, banking and financial services is that there's a, a high demand for skill sets relating to a regulatory compliance. Um, following Royal Commission findings, a lot of projects were being kicked off, had to deal um, with the aftermath of that. So right. making sure um, customers are um, being done um, right by. So um, skill sets relating to financial crime and um, 
regulatory mm -hmm. compliance pieces are still in, in high demand and it's also in our Sydney office, so definitely also in New South Wales the case. Because businesses are cross-cutting, there's not going to be that much transformation and projects going on. So I'm right. seeing a lot of like integration projects, a lot of right. um, Salesforce, CRM, um, right. data projects as well. I know yeah. that in the utility space, normally they will look for um, regulatory and compliance. I know that a couple of those projects are put on hold. So I think right. um, a lot of businesses are just doing whatever is business critical for now until things right. are a little bit more certain. So that's a trend um, that I can see, but that doesn't mean like all businesses are doing that. Um, so yeah. just yeah, a general kind of observation. Great, no problem. Thank you so much for the um, insight that you guys have provided. I really appreciate that you guys have accommodated in such a short time.